It's prime time with extra P. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Wei Jiang MPP 10. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have some nice artwork here of MPP-10, that's right, MPP-10 with extra P. On this side we have uh, MPP-10, on this side MPP-10, up top MPP-10, on the bottom things and stuff that I cannot read, on the back of the box, obligatory product shots, more things that I cannot read, things and stuff, stuff and things, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have MPP-10, and this is an upscaled knockoff of MP-10 Optimus Prime. And yeah, here he is in his vehicle mode. He has a red and blue truck. I know, mind blown! It gets me every time. Every time I am shocked and amazed beyond belief, but anyway. Yeah, red and blue truck, we know how this works. But yeah, let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have all this nice, lovely chromage right up front here. You get the nice silver stripes going across the side, across the front. You have the trans clear and windshields with that silver trim. Windshield wipers are painted. Also, get some little bits there of orange, some silver, lots of silver, more silver. Oh, so much silver. Even the uh, side view mirrors are silver. Little lights up top, done in yellow. Nice chromed out smokestacks. A little bit of silver back there too. You can see Prime's crotch right there. It's just all exposed. He just exposes himself. That's just wrong. Chrome tanks, chromed rims, lots of chrome. And you get the nice gunmetal gray in here. And some nice transparent plastic back here for the taillights. And some paint there as well. And you do get some big old rubber tires, and uh, this is the top. Here is the bottom. Here it does roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with the original MP10. So you can see how much they upscaled this figure. Now we do have some, some color variances here. Uh, the red is a lot more uh, glossy. Gives a little bit more of a vibrant look, definitely some different shades of blue going on back there. And we also have some extra paint apps on the MPP version. Maybe the extra P stands for paint. I don't know. You down with MPP? Yeah, you know me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Just saying. But you know, just you can get a good look here at the similarities, at the differences. Can't see what's going on there. And just to go one step further, here they are with the uh, Voyager-sized MP10 that I reviewed a long time ago. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Small, medium, large. There you go. Now, as far as accessories go, um, you do get his blaster here which can fold up, you push this button in the back, boop, and it all just unfolds, nice and spring-loaded like. Get a little bit of gunmetal gray in there. But yeah, very G1-y, primey gun. You can just fold all that back up like so. This will store into vehicle mode, but there is an issue with it. I'll get to that later because I can show it off better in uh, robot mode. But yeah, a little issue with the storage on this, but you get the gun, you also get the big ol' Energon Axe. Done in a transparent kind of rubber. It's rubbery. It's bendy. You get the big old axe there. You can store that right there. There you go. Storage. I don't know. Um, you do also get a matrix of leadership. And this is diecast. You can see some nice detail there. You get the little transparent blue jewel, which can move around in there because reasons. Yeah. Get a big old matrix, and there's also an issue with the matrix, also. But again, we'll get to that in robot mode because I can show it off better there. And you also get an upscaled version of Spike. And yeah, there's Spike focus camera. Focus, there we go. We can look at those just dead, lifeless eyes. There we go, just this blank stare. Hi, 
How are you? Want to be friends? Oh, anyway. Um, <laughs> you can see here. His big old yellow boots. All that good stuff. Um, articulation wise, arms can just rotate, legs can move forward. And the back, and he's got a knee. I can bend and actually bend both ways. If you want to break his legs, you can do that too. And for a quick comparison, here it is with the spike that came with the original MP10. So you can see how much they upscaled this. So, yeah, a little bit, you know, definitely a, a, a different mold, it seems like, too, because there are some differences there in the molding. But yeah, there you have Spike. You can stand him next to Prime, and he can just stand there. Hooray for things that can just stand there. So, there you have that, and that is pretty much it for the alt mode so let's get down to transformation shall we <laughs> you can't do it big rubber tires no spinning there's no spinning happening here but um anyway as you can guess this being just an upscale of mp10 it transforms just like mp10 so flip in the side view mirrors here you want to come to the front here actually let me come back down here so you want to untab the headlights like so Let's add those headlights and then come under here. It helps if you push this center piece in. It'll help you to unhook these. Swing that out to the side. Undo that. Swing that out to the side. And then we can get in here and we can pull out his arms. Oh, you also want to uh, pull up the uh, smokestacks there. So you have your clearance to swing things out. There we go. Just bring those arms out. And bring those arms out. Come on. Come on. Bring those arms out. Like so. Then you want to come in here. Open up what will be his chest. Flip out his head. This section will go up into his chest. This will collapse down. These sections here will rotate. You want to flip these sections in. Like so. Flip that the rest of the way around. Bring that halfway down, flip it up, flip it up, bring it around, and then we can just bring these side pieces up to make the waste your region. Hi, you can say hi, how are you? And then you just flip these up onto his back, like so. And now we can we can rise. Okay, so now we can take this section here on this big double hinge. Just collapse this up like so. You got a tab that will go into there to lock all that in place. You can then close up his chest to your region. And there we go. So we got the upper body all done. And now we move on to the lower body. So you want to untab the tanks. So we got them free. Just untab them for now. Like so. Split the legs. You can just extend oh, there we go extend those legs like that take this panel here flip this around that will cover up those wheels open up the feet the feet will slide over this panel here will flip around and there you have a leg all done second verse just like the first so extend the leg we'll flip this over now Slide that foot over, open up the foot, bring this around, and last thing to do is just bring those tanks down, so they sit right there, there we go, so we got the lower body all done, and we now just have to work on the arms, rotate his waist around so everything's facing forward, so what you're doing with the arms is extending them, this section will flip in, open this panel, flip out the fist, close it up. There you go, second verse, guess what? Just like the first, extend that. This one's a little tighter, yeah, there we go. Flip that up, open, rotate, close, and then just push those shoulders in. And I think we're done, are we done? Yes, we're done, Woo, we're done. And there you go, there you have. MPP-10, aka Optimus Prime, in his robot mode.
And he is a bigger version of MP10, so he looks just like MP10, just with extra P. But anyway, yeah, so nicely done. But that's getting close here, so we can take a look not at his bazillion ab muscles, but at that noggin. There's the noggin. Nice primey head sculpt. Nice silver going on there. Nice blue for the eyes. And yeah, got the chrome real abs going on there. Nice silvers. Lovely golden crotch origin there. <laughs> but yeah, well, not very nice. Got some nice gold there as well on the forearms. Legs got some silver going on in there. Is big old feet. And over at the back, not a whole lot to speak of. Very clean transformation. But all in all, not too shabby. One thing I do want to mention is that the plastic, plastic quality-wise, um, it does he, he does feel kind of knockoffy. Um, the 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 Megatron, the, the plastic on the Megatron feels a lot better on this guy. Like he does, he feels he feels he feels definitely feels kind of knockoffy. Um, so plastic not as good quality as on their Megatron, but you know still. A pretty solid figure nonetheless. But as far as articulation goes, the head can rotate, can do a full 360. He can look up, do the little squirrel, can look down, all that good stuff. You can also use that hinge there if you just wanted to go You can do that. Arms can rotate, do a full 360. You can pull the arms out so they can get some outward movement. And that's pretty much all you're gonna get. You have bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow, moving on down. You got wrist rotation, hands can open and close. Uh, the index finger is a separate piece with a hinge there and a hinge there. The other three fingers are just one solid piece with a hinge at the base. You do have waist rotation, legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward, you can get that far. You do have thigh rotation. 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. I mean, you have rotation below the knee. If you need that to move, hey, it moves. And the feet, um, they can move up. They can uh, move down only slightly. You can move the toes down if you need them to, but you also have your ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, um, this is where we have issues with storage on this figure. So here's the blaster all folded up. So what you're supposed to do, and I want you to note how nice and flush the section sits right now. So you open this up, take the blaster, it will go in like that, and you just push it in, you see this little cutout, and you just get that in there and push it in like as far as it will go. And that's as far as it goes. It doesn't go any further. It has drawn the line this far no further and that's as far in as it goes and you try to close it up and that just and that's what happens so it's just yeah something is just very much off and not letting things sit how they're supposed to sit i don't know what but i mean i have everything correct there's only one way to put this gun in here and it's like it's just pushed in as it's going to get and it just it does that so yeah not a fan of that, not a fan. Um, so definitely some fitment issues there. But that's okay because I always have him wielding his weapon anyway. So I'll pop that open. And uh, you know, we'll put it in his left hand right now. That's the usual tab in the slot of the palm method of weapon holding, like so. And get in there, get in there! There we go. So you got that going on, and that's actually kind of wiggling loose. It's I, I get it tabbed in. That's another issue too with him holding the gun. This is the most amazing figure ever, Emgo. Why haven't you gotten it, Emgo? This is why, because apparently it's just, there's some not good stuff happening here. Um, <laughs> and also just general MP10 fatigue also, but I'll talk about that a little bit more later. Um, but yeah, I get it tabbed in, and once I close his fingers around it, it kind of knocks it out, see? I guess if we leave the trigger, leave his trigger finger 
out and just bring these in, do that. There we go. No, it's still just kind of wiggling around in there. Yeah, he doesn't really hold that too well. He doesn't really hold that too well. It's okay. I mean, you can hold on to it, but it's not the most solid grip. It's just kind of wiggling around in there. But anywho, you got that going on. You also have the Energon X, which can just slide over his hands like so. There you go. He's got his axe, he's got his rifle, so you can pew pew hack hack, pew pew hack hack, and all of that good stuff right there. So now let's talk about another storage issue, and that is with the uh, with the Matrix. So, just like with MP10, you open this chest up, open this up, this little panel here, you open up. Now, if you can see in here, don't know how well you can see it, but there is this little piece here that sticks up that goes into these openings here in the matrix and I actually I snapped one of them off I snapped this one off it's right here by the way I have to try to glue this back in or something but yeah <laughs> when I plugged this matrix in his chest it was just in there super super tight and trying to get it out I just I snapped that one support there that holds it in because it's just too tight in there. It's way too tight. Like the matrix is just a little too big or maybe this is just, I don't know. But either way, yeah, that just doesn't work. I mean, it, it comes out fine just now because, you know, there's only one thing holding it in place and it's not really holding it in place anymore. But anyway, close that up, close the chest up. Voila, he's got his matrix and I broke a piece trying to get it out of his chest. But anyway, that's another little issue there. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with the uh, Wei Zhang Mega Master. So you can see how these two look together, and they do look quite nice together, and this is really the only reason why I bought him to go with him, because, yeah, no, I didn't want him to be lonely. But of the two, this is definitely the better one, and the one I would recommend, and the one that is way more interesting. This is just another MP10. This is, as far as I'm concerned, an easy pass. And here he is with the original MP10. You can see just how much they upscaled this. Um, they did also uh, change up his proportions a bit. If you can see, we'll come down a little bit. You can see they did actually make his uh, his shinular region a bit longer, so it makes his legs a little bit better proportion. So they did do a bit of remolding on this, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, all in all though, other than that, same figure. And here it is with the uh, with the Voyager scaled one. Actually, let's get them. Let's get them all in the shot here. There we go. <laughs> They're like a little family. You're like a little family, isn't that precious? That's precious! Oh, so precious. So there you have MPP-10, and um, yeah, you know, I, I, I was never too keen on buying this figure, and now that I have it, I'm still not too keen on it. It's just, I mean, it's, it's a good figure. As much as I love this mold, I think it's just a case of I'm just over it, you know, because there are roughly about 50,000 versions of this mold on the market right now in every color imaginable, every size. It's just, I'm just kind of over it. I'm just kind of over this mold. It's MP10 fatigue, you know, I've just, I've just seen this figure too much and I'm just kind of over it. But this isn't a bad figure. I mean, it's a good figure for the most part. It does have its issues. Um, there are storage issues for the gun, storage issues for the Matrix. Um, he doesn't hold his gun that well. Could just be my copy, but still issues I'm going to point out regardless, because there are issues. As I said earlier, you know, the plastic quality is, you know, he feels knockoffy. The Megatron is definitely the better figure quality-wise. But it's not a bad figure. If you love it, you love it. God bless you. Just again, due to my MP10 fatigue, I'm just, there's just not a whole lot here that I'm all that excited about. <laughs> So there you go. Now I picked this up from TF Safari. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for all your other Transformers needs. It's always linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my Knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. 
And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Weijang MPP10. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. So you've come back for more, you puny little... Oh, you just had to. He just had to, didn't he? You couldn't let me have this. You couldn't let me have just a little advantage. No, you know I can't do that, Megatron. You know, this is why I don't like you. Just can't let me feel special. You're special to me, Megatron. Don't you patronize me!